Hello again. Well, I didn't think I'd be uh, making this many videos uh, all at once. I figured maybe one a month at that, but uh, it has been a, a busy past few days. Um, my old uh, little camera, sure getting a workout. It's Kodak EasyShare Z1012IS model that I picked up for, uh, I think it was less than $10 actually. The uh, seller thought it was faulty. Turns out it just had a flat battery in it, um, so score for me. Anyway, um, today we have a fuel level sender unit from what I, I believe it's a Peugeot, 1970s model Peugeot. And uh, this would be my more electromechanical uh, side of me coming out now. Um, yeah, very basic. Variable resistor, um, it's a wire round resistor in there. Uh, seems to have lost connection with uh, ground. There's nothing coming off the, the wiper. Now as the, uh, as the fuel level uh, goes down, well, as you, as, as, you, as you fill up the tank, it would, you'd see it would sit in the tank like that. And as you fill up the tank, the, it would cause the float to come up, which would basically do that. Um, changing the resistance closer to zero I believe and then as the as the fuel uh, level drops the float goes down and uh, increasing the resistance so uh, she's uh, fairly rusty um, I have to clean all of that off it and um, pop off the little plastic cover there and uh, see what's happened in there I'd say it's probably rusted itself away and um, who knows, maybe if we're lucky we can rebuild it. Alright, now I've uh, bent back the little tags, three little tags were holding the uh, the mechanism on the on the backing plate and uh, I've had to sort of pick this up and move it over. Um, I, I don't want to disconnect the, uh, the connection through there, it's riveted onto the top there. Um, and of course it would also uh, feels very very solid it's um whatever material they've used there is, is fuel resistant and it's it's making a nice seal I wouldn't want to break that and hope that a normal rivet would uh, um, reseal that up for um, don't want fuel leaking everywhere but uh, as you can see here's our ground connection and it's just a little uh, little little uh, piece of um well, I guess it's just steel it doesn't doesn't look like anything special it sort of looks like brass in the camera but it's not it's just coated and it's got a very light coating of something on there and uh, uh, on the other side you can see it's quite rusted in there as well uh, must have had a bit of moisture in the tank but there's our variable resistor and uh, I don't know if I can get any closer and make that easier to see but I'll get some try and get some light down in there uh, all the way around around the top there is a wire round round resistor and uh, and and the wiper is just there as you can see it, it wipes wipes the length of the resistor as the float moves gosh this is shocking I need lighting at all angles don't I uh, there you go you can see that traveling around there very simple operation I actually thought this center connector uh, would, would have been on something, but because uh, it, it is reversed, there's, there's, a, there's a little um, let's use something other than my finger, eh? See, you can see the little loop as it uh, loops up and um, touches the resistor windings, but uh, um, and there's a uh, it loops the other way. And I thought that would be sitting down touching something else. That might have been for another design, uh, perhaps, that they didn't implement in this model. Um, but anyway, the little connector on the, on the, on the back side of this that, that we looked at, it rides on here, makes contact there. And that's fairly, fairly well rusted as well, a bit of corrosion on there. Um, so what I need to do is uh, get creative and... Uh, I don't think that's reusable. It's actually split as well. Uh, make another one. Um, pop a rivet through there. Connect it 
connect it on, make it hopefully make a good connection. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. See what I can do. Well, what do you know? That definitely looks like brass to me. And instead of, uh, you know, getting too involved and, and, and making a new piece, I don't think I need to make another one. Um, it looks fairly secure at its rivet point there. And uh, I've just given it a, a light sand with some wet dry paper and she's nice and shiny again. So that, that should make a really good contact. Now, I think it is supposed to be split. Uh, that gap is too big for uh, if the ring had just let go on its own. And um, there's a slight upturn at the end. I'm thinking that it actually, uh, most of the contact is made just on the edge of it rather than the entire surface of it. But I uh, honestly don't know that one, but um, it's certainly, I guess it's designed to create some spring tension against the surface there, which is filthy. So we'll, uh, we'll clean that one up and uh, see how we go with that. All right, I have confirmed that we do have uh, zero ohms, so there's a good connection between uh, through that rivet to ground still, and uh, I've just cleaned up that connection there. Nice and shiny, isn't that a thing of beauty? And obviously it looks like brass as well. So uh, I think that'll make an excellent connection. The uh, the windings there, uh, they look okay in the in the resistor. Um, I'd like to put a bit more spring tension on that wiper, um, but at this point, uh, I'll just see what sort of readings we're getting. If it's uh, nice and smooth all the way through the range, um, I might not bother. There's, I mean, this thing isn't going up and down up all, all the time. It's only a very slow motion as the fuel drains and fills, so. Uh, uh, I wouldn't imagine it would have lost a lot of uh, tension over the years or, or worn down the wiper on the other side too much, but uh, yeah, let's temporarily pop it back together and, uh, and, and see how it looks. Right, um, you can kind of see that on camera. There is a little gap between that uh, ground connector and uh, the uh, arm itself. Um, and it definitely is riding on the little upturn at the end of that uh, springy connector. Okay, I stuck it together and uh, went to measure the resistance and I'm getting nothing out of this. And I thought, looking at the state of these connections, that that would have been it. But uh, while I have a connection up through to the terminal through this band, it seems to have lost connection to the resistor, uh, which it just basically sits hard against the side of the windings as it comes in, comes it comes in down here and around the side, and it's just a press fit really, and this resistor is just pushed into place. So uh, it does move, and I can pull it out, and uh, we will uh, do that, and and uh, obviously have to clean up the connections in there as well. The windings on the resistor uh, appear to be intact, so uh, that's good good news um, although yeah I suppose I could rewind one of those there's not much on it but I'd rather not have to right having extracted the uh, resistive uh, element it looks like it's been cooking away in there rather nastily yeah okay so that's uh, doesn't look too pretty um, the the windings still don't appear to be broken um, with any luck I can clean them up and uh, clean up the uh, the connection that goes to that which is uh, this this metal metal uh, line comes down through here and, and onto these two which don't look the happiest either so uh, we'll give them a scrub with some of the wet dry sandpaper um, very lightly of course I mean we don't want to wear away uh, much of the material just want to clean the corrosion off the surface Right, this seems to have got them a bit shinier and uh, looking a bit happier there. I'm not quite sure how far around the peak uh, I need to go um, to... Yeah, I don't, don't think the sides are making as much contact with the, with the wire as the peak would, but um, 
It's possible. I'd have to have a closer look at that when I slide it back in. But um, we'll try and clean up some of that discoloration there. And what I'll do is I'll use this little fire, well, pl oh, yeah, fiber brush. Um, just little plastic fibers there. And, uh, and I'm just going to run it up the length of the windings because we don't want to um, bend them as that they, they, they wrap around that way all the way along so we want to keep them straight and separate if they touch each other they'll uh, they'll lower um, lower the resistance overall which will give a different reading it's come up uh, a lot better and of course I'm supporting it with my thumb underneath as I run the brush up along the length of it uh, this is quite a flimsy little bit of plastic and um, you'd want to don't want to encourage that to crack I'll um, do what I can to clean up under that side although I don't I don't think it's overly dirty as such I did I did run a bit of um, set a bit of emery tape underneath the uh, wiper there and uh, run it back and forwards along 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 that just to give it a bit of a scuff in case it was a bit dirty as well but but I don't I don't think it's quite as bad as the rest of it uh, given the condition of this this uh, side there looks quite clean Alrighty, up in the vise for support. Oh, let's make sure that's sitting in. Yep, temporarily connected. We have the meter over there at 7.8 ohms, and uh, this float being up at this end would be a full tank of gas. Now, as we uh, use up the gas and drop it down, it looks like oh, it's. Jumping over around a bit. Yeah, just slowly moving it as you'd expect. It's, um, or maybe it's just got a real dodgy wiper connection there, I think. Uh, let's wind it out to there. 132 ohms. I know it's 370 ohms full scale. Um, I don't know if it'll actually get there right up at the other end. It might do. Yeah. Let's come back the other way. Seems a lot smoother going back the other way. No, until it gets to about there. Yeah. Right, Let's see if I can take another look at this and uh, improve it. The wiper it had a lot of spring in it though. It was up up again, um, past where it would normally sit, so yeah. Alright, I have uh, re sanded the wiper contact um, and I kept going until. The, well, there was not much uh, uh, coming off. I mean, there was a you can, you can see on the sandpaper there is quite a bit coming off it, um, and I kept going until it was relatively uh, little transfer back onto the paper, suggesting I guess there was a bit more dirt on there than I thought. And I must say, initially, um, it's a lot more linear. It is it is a lot better. So I will. Bang, bang it back together and uh, we'll see perhaps maybe there was a issue with connection to the the wiper between uh, there and the ground so we'll uh, double check that back in the vise here we go very slowly moving it much like last time and oh that is definitely an improvement I'm gonna call that fixed I mean, I won't be able to see it back in the car. I'm doing this on behalf of somebody, but uh, um, I'm sure he will tell me the good news. I'll just need to bend those tabs over, lock that case on, and uh, I'm going to call this done. Thanks for watching.